All right, guys, you're watching the VSO Gun Channel, and you're about to see something pretty cool. Thanks for watching the VSO Gun Channel. I've got the, something special for you here today, and it's not just that Steve is here from ShootSteel.com. Obviously, this thing is awesome. Tell us a little bit th about this thing, man. Sure. So this is uh, one of our AR500 50 BMG targets. Um, it's rated up to 50 BMG. You can shoot anything with big foot pounds like that at it. Um, 375, 408, Tri-Tex. Um, so it's a three-quarter inch construction AR500. Thick, heavy, like it. Um, it's hanging off of uh, one of our rigid conduit stands. So the rigid conduit you can buy from hardware stores. Um, the, the kit comes with the end pieces, the clips, the collars, and the gong mounts. You cut it to whatever size you want. Um, we recommend for larger targets a five foot by five foot stand. Um, the nice thing about these is if you pop a hole in the leg, they'll withstand quite a few hits. I mean, if you hit it with a 50, it's gonna probably come down. Um, <laughs> but uh, Shoot well. Yeah, yeah. So the nice thing about these is you can go to the hardware store, you can replace legs, get extra legs, you're out shooting, you mess it up, you replace it, and you're good to go. And that's one of the things that I really like about your guys' target design is like even the targets, how they're attached, bolt systems. So this has no welds on it. So in fact, I don't see, I only see welds here. Yep. And this, we, we only did this just because these just, actually bolt on. Okay. They bolt on. Yep. yep. So um, and what's nice about that is uh, welds weaken steel targets, uh, however, this there's no welds in this, it's just a cut piece of AR-500. If you if this bolt takes a 50 round or something else, or you ding it up with 5.56 over time, you can go to the hardware store and replace it. Correct. Yep. So that's very cool. Yep. Trust me, we beat the shit out of some of this stuff and we've had to go to the hardware store a few times. But all targets are gonna be like that. This thing looks like fun. We've got a lot of big bore stuff to shoot at it today. So why don't we go ahead and run and go get to it. Sounds good. Thanks, buddy. All right, guys, we're out here checking out the shootsteel.com swinging 50 cal target. We're at about 25 to 30 yards. We're going to hit it with some various small ca small arms calibers to see if we can't demonstrate the swinging motion of this thing. First up, 5.56. Five, we're going to go ahead and danger this bitch up. Ready? Well, man, that Wolf Gold 55 grain <laughs> doesn't even uh, waver the target at all. Let's go ahead and step it up a notch. And give me the AK. All right, this venerable Century Arms C39 V2, chambered 762 by 39. Well, you can see the 762 by 39 got her going a little bit there. Let's move up a notch to something a little bit bigger. And we got a, a 50 Beowulf by Alexander Arms with a Vortex Optic. I'm gonna check it out. We're gonna shoot a couple more. Let's shoot a couple more. Uh 
Or, yeah, there you go. There she goes. Ready? Yep. Boy, that, I mean, like, that really got it rocking. Let's go check it out. All right, guys, we're down here checking this thing out. As you can see, those rounds didn't do shit to this thing. Uh, it is it is kind of neat to see that the uh, the 762 by 39 rounds were kind of grouping down here a little bit, but uh, we're basically just you know barely even scratching the paint on this thing. We're gonna go ahead, move up range a little bit, and take it up to the next notch. All right, guys, we are up here at 200 meters. We have a Savage 110 BA. 338 Lapua. We are shooting 300 grain ball ammo today at the uh, shootsteel.com 50 caliber swinging target. And as a shooting mat today, I'm also using a, a Racket 36 bag from Vanquest Gear. For optics today, we're gonna be using a, uh, a Trigicon Accu Power. And this optic was provided by georgiaoptics.com. Go ahead and check them out. Great site. Uh, they have great prices on their optics. And we're gonna go ahead and light this thing off without any further ado. Yeah. Go again. Oh man, that was a nice center punch. New gun, a little stiff. Good to dance. Uh oh. She's swinging a little bit. <laughs> She's hard. To, it's hard for me to. I think I'm gonna let her settle down a little bit. And we're out. All right, guys. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is step it up a notch, and then we're gonna go down down range check out the target. All right, boys and girls, we're out here with this Barrett 50 cal. We have some ball ammo, and we're gonna see if we can't swing that target over. I'm using the Ibex 30 bag as a as a rest today, just kind of checking it out from Banquest gear. Check them out; it's a good time. But without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and light this thing off. <laughs> We're gonna go again. How <laughs> you hit my leg again, guys? I am loading these things all the way forward with my fingers because uh, you want to be careful when you're using some of these 50 cows because you might accidentally light one off when you're putting the bolt forward, and that would obviously be a bad thing. You'd be sending a 50 caliber slug somewhere where you aren't accountable for it and it would probably hurt too. The whole thing is pushing me backwards. Uh, gun's falling apart. I think the dust cover just came off your gun, though, bro. It's the bottom part of the stock. Oh, is it? Yeah, you're right, it is. All right, guys, that was a ton of fun. We're gonna go ahead and run down range and see what kind of, uh, see what the target looks like. All right, guys. We're down here at the end of the end of the range. I'm here with Dog, and uh, we're down here with the 50 BMG target from Shootsteel.com. What are you seeing here, man? All you're seeing is just marks in the paint. There's no there's no discernible divots in the steel. And uh, remember, guys, we put 338 Lapua and 50 BMG on this thing at 200 yards. No discernible difference between the two. That's pretty uh, pretty impressive in my mind. Uh, but you know that's what you come to expect when you're shooting uh, Shootsteel.com targets. You, know? you need to absolutely go to their website, look at their products. It'd be a worthy investment, absolutely.
and I can proudly say that I'm, I'm happy with their... That's all we use here, so it works. Absolutely. Uh, you got a bug, I'm sure. Well, anyway, guys, you just watched the VSO Gun Channel, where we bend the fit and scratch the finish, so you don't have to. That's all she wrote.